Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, I wanted to show you what you can do if the winget command is not recognized as a command. Uh, today, I wanted to toy a little bit around with winget. Winget, if you don't know it, that's a package manager for Windows, similar to the package management system you know from Linux. For example, you can install software via winget, winget install, in this example here, Microsoft Windows terminal and you just type it in, into the command line and the winget tool automatically downloads the file, installs the software and you are good to go. Usually when you want to use the software you install the app installer from the Windows Store. As you can see the product is already installed, however it's not really working because as you can see when I type winget into my command prompt it just tells me that the program is not recognized. Okay, what you can do about it? Um, what you can do is you do a manually you do a manual install of the package manager. For that, you go to the release page of the project here on GitHub. I will put the link into the video description. You scroll down a little bit until you get to the assets, and here you can see uh, at the top of the page is the most recent version of the tool. And then you download the Microsoft Desktop App Installer file with the M6 bundle file extension at the end. That's this file here with uh, around 20 megabytes. Just click on it, download the file, and after a few moments the file is downloaded. The download is finished and the file is now in my downloads folder. Here it is, and then you just have to right click on the file and select install. And this should install the application on your PC. Uh, this is a window here, then you have to click update. And now the package is installed. The installation is done. And now if we switch back to our command prompt, then we can try winget again and as an example, I wanted to install FileZilla. Now, winget install FileZilla. Just hit enter. And as you can see, now it's working. Uh, it's downloading the file from the internet and automatically installs it. And that's really nice about the application man uh, package manager. You can install software right from the command line. Just type in, in a command. And for example, if you have a new computer and you want to install a lot of software, your standard software, you can build a script which uh, with which you can install every tool you need. There's a lot of packages in 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 the Winget app repository about 2,500 app, different application you can install. So you can do a base installation of all your most liked programs. Okay, well, that's it. Winget is now working. So you just have to do a manual installation and then you're good to go. Okay, goodbye.